First of all, you draw a shape on one of these cards. Oh, a shape. That's right. Any shape you like. Um, um... I tell you what, why don't I start? Okay, Rolly. Ah, there you go. There's a triangle to start with. Oh, a triangle. That's very good, Rolly. Now it's your turn to draw a shape. Um, uh, oh, I think I'll draw a triangle too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, triangles have got three sides, haven't they? One, two, three! Ah, that's right! Well done! Now then, watch carefully. I'll just draw a spike here. Ah, there. Now, what do you think that looks like? Oh, 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 it's a tree! It looks like a tree! <laughs> yes, well done, Flory. Now, what do you want to do with your triangle? Um, oh, uh... Oh, another spike. <laughs> Is it another tree? Oh, yes, a tall pointy tree. But look. Oh. Yeah, it's a green tree. <laughs> Shall we have another go? Oh, yes. Right you are. Oh, 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 it's a circle. <laughs> That's it. I'll do a circle too. Oh, very good. Now, uh, what shall I put on mine? I know, some spikes. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, oh, the sun. Is it the sun? <laughs> it is. Now, what about your circle? Uh, Oh, I think I'll do uh, spike, spike, spikey, spike, spikey, spikey, spikey. <laughs> Goodness me, that's a lot of spikes. Now, what does that look like? Oh, oh, it looks like um. Uh, hmm. Maybe it's a hedgehog. A what? <laughs> a hedgehog, a little spiky hedgehog. <laughs> What's a hedgehog? Oh, a hedgehog is a little spiky animal. Oh, a hedgehog. Hmm. Look, Flory, that's a hedgehog. Oh! <laughs> oh, there are one, two, three hedgehogs. Can you see? That lady's wearing special gloves so her hands don't get prickled. <laughs> Are sweet Flory, but a hedgehog spikes are very prickly. So if you ever find a hedgehog, you really must touch it. Oh, I wonder if they're hungry. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> oh, they're off for a walk now. Oh, my 
my hedgehog doesn't feel prickly. <laughs> no, but that's a very good hedgehog picture, though. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rolly. Oh. I'm going to show my hedgehog picture to Fimbo and Palm. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> See you later, Flory. <laughs> Bye! Yes, I knew a hedgehog once. <laughs> Always getting things stuck on her spikes. <laughs> dear, oh dear. I think Fimble and Pom will really like my picture. Hello, Flory. Oh, hello, Pom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? It's a hedgehog. I drew it. Hes hedgehog. <laughs> yes, it's a little animal with spikes on its back. Oh. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. <laughs> Come on, let's show it to Fimbo. Fimbo. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm getting the fimbling feeling. Oh, I'm going to find something. <laughs> I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Oh, there is something to be found here. Uh, is it here? No. Um, oh, is it there? Oh, no. Can you see it anywhere? I think that's its body underneath. Oh, wow! <laughs> a real hedgehog in the valley. Oh, hello, hedgehog. Hello, hedgehog. <laughs> hello, hedgehog, how are you? Can I watch to see what you do? I'll stay as quiet as can be. Don't be scared, it's okay. She knows so small and black And your funny <laughs> prickly back <laughs> Lovely hedgehog, please don't go I just came to say hello <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hedgehog! Shh! Oh, Pom, we have to stay very still Pom, still And we mustn't touch it That's very important <laughs> No touch. No, its spikes are very prickly. <laughs> hello, you two. Oh, hello, Bessie. Hello, Bessie. Ooh, why are we all whispering? Look what we found. Hedgehog. A what, Tom? A hedgehog. Look. Ooh, I do love hedgehogs. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think it is a hedgehog, though it does look just like one. I think it's a hairbrush. A hairbrush? <laughs> can I pick it up then, Bessie? <laughs> of course you can, Chuck. Hedgehog. <laughs> it's a hairbrush, Pom. Hedgehog. Hairbrush for brushing your hair. <sighs> Pom, have it. You can have it if you like, Pom. But it's not a hedgehog, it's a hair-hog. <laughs> hair-hog, <laughs> that's a good name for it, Pom. <laughs> oh, Pom, you are a funny, clever little thimble. I'll see you later, Chucks. Pompey, hair-hog. I'm going to go and find Rolly Mo and tell him all about your hair-hog. You'll never guess what they've just found. They found a hairbrush, but they thought it was a prickly hedgehog. Oh, hedgehogs? Oh, well, they're all prickly, and they snuffle around in the leaves and the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 
ripple, love. Steady on. <laughs> ripple, you're getting right under my wings with your snuffling and your fluffing. <laughs> it's tickling. <laughs> yes, I know you're being a hedgehog, love. At least you've not got prickles on your back. <laughs> that would be uncomfortable. <laughs> You could just be you. <laughs> yes, you, a little chick. That's who I love the best. <laughs> Hello, Pum. <laughs> what have you got there? A hog. A what? A hog. Oh, isn't it a hairbrush? Snanimal. Oh, I see. You're pretending it's a little animal. Hair hog. Yes, a hair hog. <laughs> That's good. Um... Thimble. Oh, Thimble. Oh, that's Rocket. Rocket. Hey, I've got an idea. Um, can I borrow your hair hog, Pom? Uh, yes. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Don't tell Rocket I'm here. Shh. <laughs> Hey! Oh, what are you up to, Pum? Pumpity pum pum. <laughs> oh, Pum play with hair hog. Play with what? Hair hog. Hair hog? Yes. Oh, I see. Uh, um, uh, Pum, I can't quite remember. Uh, what's a hair hog again? Uh, there. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, one of those. Uh, it... Ooh. Oh. It doesn't do much, does it? Oh, it moved. Hello, hair hog. Oh, uh, hello, hair hog. Hello. Um, it said hello. It said hello back to me. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> it was me all the time. <laughs> oh, Simbo. <laughs> it's just a brush. <laughs> Phew, that's a good joke, Simbo. <laughs> We found a hedgehog. Oh, did you know, Florrie? Well, we thought we'd found a hedgehog, but it wasn't really a hedgehog. It was a hairbrush. Oh, 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 oh. I see. And Pom called it a hair hog. <laughs> hair hog? Yes, it's a hairbrush and a hedgehog all muddled up. <laughs> well, I tell you what. Would you like a story about a hedgehog? Oh, yes, please, Roly. <laughs> I'll just go and get it. Back in a Roly Mo. When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now, what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here you are then. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes, Rowley. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Night Visitor. Hmm. One night, Ben and Charlie were about to go to bed when Mum said, Boys! We've got a visitor. Come and see. Ben and Charlie were very puzzled, especially when Mum shone her torch into the shed. There was Puddy, their cat. But in the other corner was a small brown creature with beady black eyes and a coat of spines. Is that a hedgehog? whispered Charlie. Yes, whispered Mum. The hedgehog snuffled round Ben's old wellies. Then he waddled over to Puddy's blanket. Mum, whispered Ben, don't let Puddy hurt him. He'll be all right, Ben. He can look after himself. The little hedgehog snuffled at the cat. Puddy woke up and hissed at him. Ben was worried. He knew the hiss meant Puddy was angry. But the hedgehog just rolled himself up into a ball with his spine sticking out. And then he tumbled himself into Puddy's blanket. 
Meow, said Puddy. Come here, Puddy, whispered Mum. Is she all right? asked Ben. Puddy purred as Mum stroked her. She's fine, said Mum. She can sleep in the kitchen. Let's see what the hedgehog does. The boys giggled as the hedgehog snuggled up on Puddy's nice warm blanket and went to sleep. Is he going to stay here forever? asked Charlie. No, said Mum. He's just our night visitor. Tomorrow, Puddy can have her bed back. Ah, did you enjoy that, Flory? Oh, yes, thank you, Rolly. And I thought of something to help Pom with her game. See you later. <laughs> bye bye, Flory. Ooh. Hello, Pom. Look what I've got for your hair, Hog. What's that? Some water. That's what real hedgehogs like. So maybe yours will too. Oh, thank you, Flory. <laughs> Pretend hedgehogs are good because you can play with them. You can't play with a real hedgehog. Hello, hedgehog, how are you? Can I watch to see what you do? I'll stay as quiet as can be. Don't be scared, it's only me. Small and black, and your funny prickly back. <laughs> Lovely hedgehog, please don't go. Yay. I just came to say hello. <laughs> hello. <gasps> it said hello. Hello, Fimbu. It, it, it spoke to me. It spoke to me. It said, hello, Fimbo. Oh, are you sure, Fimbo? Oh, hairbrushes can't talk. No, but hair hugs can. The thimbles had a busy day today. Now, my sweetie tweet, can you remember who found that hairbrush? <laughs> yes, it was Flory. Well remembered, Ripple. It was Flory who found the hairbrush. <laughs> yes, Bob thought it was a hedgehog, didn't she? <laughs> Yes, you're right. And then everybody played tricks on everybody. And oh, oh dear, that was funny. And then what did they do in the end? They gave the hair hog some water. That was nice of them. Can you draw a picture of a prickly hedgehog? Come and find us next time, won't you? I must fly. Goodbye. Every girl, every boy, come and open up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles! Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles. We're the thimbles! Mm. Favourite thing in all the world, Rocket. Oh, what's that, Thimbo? 
A crumble cracker. <laughs> I know that, Timbo. I love crumble crackers. I love them so much, I'm going to make up a song about them. Oh, I'll help. I'm good at songs. I am the singing frog. <laughs> and I'm not going to eat my cracker till I've finished my song. That way, I'll make it last. <laughs> You're eating it now, Finbo. Uh, uh, no, 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 I'm not. Uh, well, just a nibble to help me think. <laughs> How does the song go? Um, it goes... How do you eat a crumble cracker? Crumble cracker, crumble cracker. How oh, no, no, do no, wait, you... wait, wait, wait. That's too slow, Fimbo. No, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. It would sound much better like, uh, How do you eat a crumble cracker, crumble cracker, crumble cracker? How no, do you eat no, a cracker? No, 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 no. That's too fast. Hmm. Mm. You're eating again. Uh, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. I saw you. You went like this. Uh, yum, 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 yum. Uh, no, no, no. I was only nibbling like this. <laughs> oh, I'll save the rest till my song's finished. Um, what about... How do you eat a crumble cracker, crumble cracker, crumble cracker? How do you eat a crumble cracker? You nibble it very slowly. <laughs> I like the words. Yes, but what about the tune? I like the words. Rocket? But it does sound like you've got a tubby ache. Oh, well, all right. <sighs> Let's keep thinking. that red button there. singing along with the radio. It makes me so happy. It feels like the whole valley is dancing. <laughs> oh, Pom, you're so clever. you found a radio. Hey, Joe. Hello, Rachel. Radios play all kinds of music. 
there's music to dance to. <laughs> She's a good dancer, isn't she? Come on, dancer. Yes, I know you do, come on. Ladies listening to some lovely peaceful music while she does the gardening. <laughs> He's enjoying the music while he does the washing up. <laughs> He's having a little dance as well. <laughs> This is rather jazzy, isn't it? <laughs> no! Didn't you like it, Pum? I thought it was quite a bouncy little number myself. Pum up my papers. Oh, I'm sure it'll come back again soon, Pum. I say, you could show the radio to Florrie and Fimbo. They might like to hear some music too. Huh. One. Would you like to go a bit faster? <laughs> oh, uh, too fast. Sorry. Oh, what about this? Oh, oh, oh hello, Pom. <laughs> Look, Fi, Fi, Pom, I can be fine. Oh, oh, it looks like a box. It's a funny sort of box, though. Here I go on a mopey bus, a mopey bus, mopey bus. Oh, that's a good song, Paul. Huh? All right, you sing. <gasps> it sings? Oh, I can't hear anything. <sighs> sing, sing. Oh, oh never mind, Pom. Press this button. Hmm. Hey, that's better. Oh, that's music for a rockety dance. Oh, 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 what's that noise? Oh, I don't know. It came from the box. I've just got to keep bouncing. Oh, it's bouncy music. Oh, it stopped. How Pom went Moppy Bus. Cool. Oh, what happened to the music? That's what these buttons are for. They make the music stop and start. Oh, I press the button again, Flurry. Okay. Hey, a bouncy, bouncy, boing, boing, boing. It's my tune again. <laughs> Pum want Moppy Bus. Um, how do you eat a crumble cracker? <laughs> oh, no, it's still not right. Thinking up tunes is hard. I wish I could think of one. 
Mm. Oh, what about you, Flowers? Do you know any good tunes? Good tunes? <laughs> I know lots of good tunes. Hey, they spoke. The flowers spoke to me. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to the flowers, Fimbo? Yeah, oh, Roly Mo, it's you. I thought you were a flower. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been called a flower before. <laughs> What's this about a tune, Fimbo? Oh, I I'm making up a song. It's about my favourite thing. Ah, would that be Crumble Crackers by any chance? That's right. Well, uh, I've got the words, but I can't think of a good tune. Um, do you know any tunes, Roly? Oh, yes. But I think you need to find your own tune. I often find a tune just, oh, comes to me when I'm doing something else. Does it? Well, I'll do something else then. Um, what shall I do? What about listening to a story? Oh, yes, that might help. <laughs> Righto, back in a roly mo. When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. It's the story time of day. Time to take a break from play. Settle down in your special chair. I'll sit here and you sit there. <laughs> ah, here we are then. Are you sitting comfortably, Fimble? Yes, Roly. Then I'll begin. This story is called A Noisy Night. Hmm. Ollie was worried. Where's my monkey? She said. I can't stay the night at Granny's without Monkey. You'll be all right, said her mum. It's very quiet at Granny's. You won't have any trouble getting to sleep. Just as Dad was tooting the car horn outside, Molly found Monkey. He was having a sleep under her bed. So off went Molly and Monkey in the car to Granny's. After Dad had gone, Molly felt a bit lonely. So Granny made her favourite supper and then tucked her up in bed. Sleep well, said Granny. I'm sure you will. It's very quiet here. Where Molly lived, there were lots of cars. She liked hearing them go by and seeing their lights on the ceiling. Here, it was dark and it was very quiet. Then she heard something. Oh, yes, it was Granny watching television. Then there was another noise. Oh, yes, the dog from across the road. Then there was quiet for a long time. Molly hugged Monkey. Suddenly, there was a strange noise. An owl! A real owl! Oh! Molly shut her eyes tight and listened hard so she could tell Dad all about it. The next thing she knew, Granny was opening the curtains. Good morning, Molly, she said. Did you have a quiet night? Oh, no, said Molly. It was a very noisy night, but I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Molly did a lot of listening that night, didn't she? Yes, she did. Maybe if you listen very carefully, Fimbo, you might get some ideas for a tune. Yes, I will. I'll listen very carefully. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> now, how did the words go? Um... Hey! Oh, what's that? Music! I listened and I can hear some music! Papa, Mappy Puss! Oh, the music stopped. Uh, where did it go? Hiya, Simba. Oh, hello, Pom. Um, where did the music come from? Uh, fine! A Pom a Fimby fine Rachel! It makes all sorts of music. Oh, um, do you think it would give me a tune? I need some music for my song. Oh, Rachel music. <laughs> Pom music. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
a great song, Fimbo. Yes, and now that's finished, I can finish my crumble cracker. Uh, oh, where did it go? I think you nibbled it very slowly and it's all gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chickadee, the Fimbles had a busy day today. Do you remember who found the radio first? <laughs> oh, that's right, Pom. Pom found the radio and she heard a song that she liked. <laughs> that's right, it was Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush. And Fimble made up a song about his crumble cracker, but he couldn't find the right tune. And then Flory and Pom heard the radio play sleepy music. And Rocket heard music that made him want to dance. <laughs> and Fimbo listened very carefully and he found a tune for his song in the end. How do you eat a crumble cracker? A crumble cracker, a crumble cracker. How do you eat a crumble cracker? You nibble it very slowly. <laughs> oh, or in Fimbo's case, you eat it very quickly. <laughs> Maybe you might hear some music on the radio today. Come back and see us next time, won't you? I must fly. Goodbye.